So in the comics, Tony Stark kicks the bucket and spends some quality time as an AI. My bet is that RDJ might just hop back in as the voice of Ironheart's AI. It's a smart move financially, you know. Way cheaper to have him record lines in his comfy slippers than to go through a whole year of filming. But here's the twist. Tony gets a new lease on life in the comics only to take a dark turn. To deal with the situation, the Avengers pull off some time travel shenanigans and recruit a younger version of Tony. It's a win-win for the MCU. They keep Iron Man in the mix without breaking the bank on RDJ's salary. 